The IndyCar Series welcomes you to the Worldwide Technology Raceway from St. Louis. The first race at the doubleheader is here, and we got seven of the best IndyCar Series drivers racing hard for 12 laps. Here we got J.R. Hildebrand, your pole sitter for today's race. Hopefully he gets some good luck on his side today. Can he finally keep his nose clean? And then we got Scott Dixon, another not so good qualifying run. Starting in 6th, but the last time that happened, he won. He did it before New Orleans last race. Can he bring back the Target Machine victory lane once again? We got an amazing crowd on hand with amazing weather. We are so excited for this doubleheader. First we got the IndyCar race for 12 laps. And then here we got the NASCAR Cup Series drivers. They'll be racing at Gateway for 20 laps. Now let's get ready to kick off today's race with the command. Drivers, start! Your engines! The engines come to life here at Worldwide Technology Speedway. Seven drivers will race head to head for 12 laps. The excitement is real here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. Look at the fans, they're all excited. We are excited to call this race. Now the cars are rolling out out of pit road for the first time now let's get to your starting lineup for today's race on row one we got jr hoderbrand and takuma sato on row two we got ryan hunteray and danica patrick on row three it is tony kanan and scott dixon starting almost at the back again and on the final row it is sarah fisher before we go racing here at Gateway, let's look at the race facts. We got 12 laps, the 500 mile race, 7 cars on track, and the pole sitter is J.R. Hildebrand for Panther Racing. This is a 1.25 mile track, 4 turns, turns 1 and 2 banking is 11 degrees, turn 3 and 4 banking is 9 degrees. Passing will be probably hard, so you gotta depend on drafting at this track. That is all the pre-race news, hopefully you guys are ready to go racing, but first we will be going to commercial. We'll be right back before the start of today's race. Stay tuned, folks. <laughs> guys, guys, come on. What kind of ideas we have for our fan club members? How about a day with Viso? <laughs> with Indy Downforce, you get great gear, trips, offers, maybe even meet your favorite driver. Join at IndyCar.com today. Give daddy a kiss. What? What? <laughs> guys, guys, come on. What kind of ideas we have for our fan club members? How about a day with Weldon? I don't know, but I've been told. You cool how to push up? Come on, come on. I said new tires. With Indy Downforce, you get great gear, trips, offers, maybe even meet your favorite driver. Join at IndyCar.com today. Do you think I'm your mother? <laughs> guys, guys, come on. What kind of ideas we have for our fan club members? Maybe a fan could be Dixon or something. With Indy Downforce, you get great gear, trips, offers, maybe even meet your favorite driver. Join at IndyCar.com today. Welcome back to Gateway, folks. As the pace goes about to turn right, left, J.R. Hildebrand and Takuma Sada will lead the field down to the green. Off for turn number four. Time to let them loose, and we're on the way here at Gateway. J.R. Hildebrand with an amazing jump. As he goes to the back shooter for the first time and Takuma Sato is already losing ground. As they go to turn three and four for the first time, who's going to lead the first lap as everybody's going to break each other's drop and Hildemar will lead the first lap and here comes Ryan Hunter right to the inside of Hildemar to take the lead. What a pass from number 37 of Ryan Hunter right and here comes J.R. Hildemar side by side in turn number three. Here comes Tony Kanon. Joining the battle as they come up for turn three and four. 
as the drivers are breaking each other's draft count. Hold the ref's gonna lead another lap, and here comes Kanan on the inside. Tony Kanan will take the lead. But not for long, here comes Jer Hildebrand with a crossover as he takes the lead back away from Kanan. So far, J.R. Hildebrand has been leading all the laps so far here at Gateway. As here comes the 82, Tony Kanan on the outside. Tony will take back the lead. While we are looking at the podium drivers going out for the race lead, let's take a look at the battle for fourth place. Look at Takuma Sato go on the inside of Danica Patrick. He started second but then dropped back like a rock at the start. While Tony Khan leads that lap, Takuma Sato right now is in fourth place. Tony Khan looking comfortable so far in the lead, but not too comfortable because Hildebrand and Hunter Ray are still there. Look at Scott Dixon moving up one, two spots by the time they get to turn three. Scott Dixon, the Iceman, moves up two positions as Takuma Sato drops back like a rock. Now he's side by side for sixth place between Sarah Fisher and himself. And Sarah Fisher will pass him for 6th place. While Tony Kittenhan continues to lead the Firestone 500, we're going to take a commercial break and we'll be right back. What? You think this is wrong? This is just teamwork. I'll tell you what's wrong. Paying extra to use all your phone's basic features... That's why I got Boost Mobile. Their $50 monthly unlimited plan lets me get the most out of my Motorola Clutch. $50 unlimited nationwide talk, text, and web on the new Motorola Clutch. Boost Mobile. Unwronged. Back again here at Gateway for the running at the Firestone 500. Tony Kanan continues to lead, and we have an exciting battle for second between Americans Ryan Hunter Ray and Jared Hildebrand as Ron Bowler and Tony Kanan cross the line with three laps to go. Ryan Hunter Ray tries to break. Hildebrand's drops. Here comes Hildebrand to the inside. They both touch. Ryan Hunter Ray crashes on the outside wall. Caution's going to come out with three laps to go. That means the race is official. Tony Kanan, if he makes it through the next two and a half laps under yellow, he will win this race. And Ryan Hunter Ray, ha after having an amazing race, he will be the only driver DNF'd at the Firestorm 500. Let's take a look at the replay. Looks like Hunter Ray tried to break. Hildebrand's draft. Hildebrand had a slingshot on the inside, came in the first corner. Then Hildebrand was trying to check up to not get into Hunter Ray, but unfortunately, he got into Ryan Hunter Ray at the left rear tires of the 37. And around goes the 37 on the outside wall and turns one and two. Just a racing incident there. You hate it for Ryan Hunter Ray. We had a clean green race all race long. We thought everybody was going to finish the race, but looks like there'll be six drivers finishing the race. And look at Scott Dixon. Look at everybody else on the inside avoiding Hunter Ray. Good job for the drivers who are avoiding the number 37. Hate it for Hunter Ray. As a checkered flag comes out and a caution flag, Tony Kanan will win the 2020. Firestone 500. Congratulations to the Brazilian. He dominated this race and it's an amazing win for KV Racing. And of course for Tony Kanan himself. J.R. Hildebrand finally gets a good result. He finishes second runner-up. Unfortunately, he accidentally got to Ryan Hunter Ray. And how about Scott Dixon? Third place, last driver on the podium. He did not get a good race, but hey, at least Dixon gets a good result. As we're on board to number 37, Ryan Hunter Ray. Behind the wall, he goes on the flatbed. DNF finishes last. Select Izard IndyCar driver. Driver selected Tony Kanan. Select race transport. Mission finish first. Race to the party.com. Welcome back to Worldwide Technology Raceway here at Gateway, folks. We just finished this race. For a clean green race for the first nine laps, it was surely a good one. Let's take a look at the finishing results. Here we got Tony Kanan winning the Firestone 500. Congratulations to him. Jer Hildebrand, after accidentally getting into Ryan Henry, he finished the second. Good result for him finally. 
Scott Dixon, the last driver on the podium. He finishes third. Not so good race, but he finishes on the podium. Danica Patrick comes in fourth place. Sarah Fisher, after finishing second at New Orleans, she finishes fifth. Takuma Sato finishes sixth place. He did not get a good race after having a good qualifying run, but he does not finish last. And unfortunately, last place goes to Ryan Hunter after crashing. Fortunately, he's okay. So that's going to do it, folks. That is the first race of the Gateway Doubleheader done. Congratulations once again to Tony Kanon, Jared Holderman, Scott Dixon on winning and being on the podium for the 2020 Firestorm 500. Excuse my little mistake. But we're not done yet. We're just getting started. The excitement will continue because coming up next, it is the second race of the Gateway Doubleheader. It is the NASCAR Cup Series Gateway 400 for the second race of the Gateway Doubleheader. Hopefully you folks stay tuned for that race. It's sure going to be a good one. Congratulations to Tony Kanan and we'll be right back.